because today I'm at the Orlando Icon Park. And that's because I got tickets to go to Skeletons, the Museum of Osteology. And I cannot wait to check it out. So let's go. Okay, so what I've heard is that this museum is actually supposed to be closing down. So I'm very lucky to be able to go here. And I think that it actually might be going on tour from state to state. So that's pretty fun. But yeah, without further ado, let's go in. So right now we're into the gift shop of the museum. It's really fun. We have some real shark's teeth. There's some bad claws. We don't know if those are real or not. Yeah. It doesn't have the word real on <laughs> them. These are real. Yeah, I got one of these last time we were here too. It's a nice thing. I, I mean, out of like, a gator jaw. That's so cool. So fun thing here that someone told us they're actually going to be touring with the bodies exhibit. So I think that's pretty neat and it fits very well. Honestly, this is like one of the most unique gift shops you'll ever see. I hope you'll get to buy some of this stuff when it tours. My mystery friend Vala is here today, but you'll never see her. Yeah, anytime you see this little guy, that will be Vala. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Follow Hello. The <laughs> Hello, Vala. Hello. <laughs> Look at all these skulls. These are all for sale. Why do they not have a cat? They look like little dolphins or something. I like these guys. Look, fighting each other. I like the ones oh that are gosh. on top of. That That's one's so awesome. Cool. Wow. I really like <laughs> Look into the crystal ball. Oh my gosh. These ones. Oh wow, this is crazy. The shot glasses. Whoa. Oh, I just framed one. This big, huge one. I didn't know that's one you could buy. That's so cool. These things are terrifying. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, that's so cool. I love this thing. How much is that danger needle? We have another one. This is expensive. This oh, is that's um, $45. Yeah, but it's 30% like, off. It's probably because it's the same. That's 12 bucks off of that, you know? This is 30. Probably because it's just a head, you know? Yeah, remember when one of something that looked like that crawled on me in Tennessee? Oh, uh, yeah. I think that this, was, I that think went down bite. in history as the worst day of my entire life. <laughs> oh, the butterflies are beautiful, Lily. Look. You yeah, I see them. I like how they reflect on the bottom of them, too. Good call. Yeah, it's really beautiful. It's a vintage 2020 calendar. Um, illustration circa 1890 to 1940. It's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, I love this. Me? We have like an old doctor's book at home that has illustrations that look very similar to this. I, bet I wonder, it might even be the same. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm probably gonna buy some things. Yeah, I see a lot of things I like. Who owns these bones? Like, look at the art inside. Oh my goodness. That one's a little crunched. That's okay though. I'll buy the second one. Yeah. I really want to get a $25 per month bone box. Okay. Like you just don't know, you just, just open it. <laughs> get some bones. <laughs> we get it shipped. Oh yeah. Look, some bones. With no strings, tons of educational value and quality specimens, a bone box. Wow. Who's just gonna a bone box? Come on. That is kind of cool. That's like the creepiest gift every month. You just open up a box of bones. Oh my god, what if I, you know What's that? in the box? Okay, so enough gift shop talk for now. Let's go inside. I actually want to thank my good friend Parisa for giving us these tickets. <laughs> Three people and one killer whale, please. <laughs> we just came in, we got our owl pallets, isn't that right? Yes. Yep, yeah, yeah, <laughs> owl pellets. We get to keep the bones. You get to keep the bones afterwards. You get to keep the bones. <laughs> and it's only five dollars for the owl pellet, and buying the bone alone was more than that. So yeah, so it's, like it's a good deal. This, we're actually going to be doing a scavenger hunt. Yep, and they said they'll give you a prize. What is going on here? They're doing gymnastics. Something. Wow, never really I cannot even do that alive. Oh, yoga, that's pose. A yoga pose. Yes, yoga pose. You're right. So basically you go through the museum and you answer these questions. Number one is how many bones are in an, an adult human body? Yep. Yes. Number hit two. Answer number one and two. Watch, watch a, a video. video. Oh, of well, course. Well, let's watch the video. So what have you learned? Like species of fish. There's 206 bones in the human body. Killer whale says what? What's the difference between 
A herbivore and a carnivore. And a carnivore's teeth. One's sharp and one's pointy and sharp, but the other one's dull and flat. And look at you have nice sharp teeth. Yum, yum, yum. To eat penguins. To eat penguins? <laughs> well, that's what they do. <laughs> yeah. That is what they You're do. You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Lily, look at this stuff. Oh my gosh. The ones hanging from the branches. Oh, wow. The, be really cool. the black spider monkey. I like how they put them all in like different places. Yeah. They're doing different like things. action yeah. poses. Yeah, I actually love the human riding a horse. It's probably yeah. one of my favorite ones. It looks like, they, you see that they bet the horse's feet to make it look like it was actually running. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And look at this one though. And the cheetah. cheetah. Wow. <laughs> also, um, fun fact, these are all real, isn't that right? Yes. Yes, the sign says it, so it's right. Had for lunch. Oh, oh the penguin? It's <laughs> it's Pogo. Pogo the penguin? Look at all of these skulls. I love how they look. Wow. Yeah. And Neanderthals are in the back. Look how small that one is. A tiny oh child. 33 million years ago. Wow. wow. So that one's the oldest one, I think, right there. Now, these ones don't look real. They look like replicas. But they're, um, but that one would be the oldest. Yeah. So the original um, skulls of these exact skulls are in museums around the world, but these are sculpted. Replicas. Yeah, replicas That's of fine. the original ones. Two-faced cat. <laughs> two-faced cat. Oh, it is. Two-faced cat. Whoa. It is. Okay. What's that? Oh my goodness. I don't like that. Oh, I have no clue what that is. That is a Cyclops calf. So that's, that, that's what it, he looked like when when he was alive. And these are these. So these are are also real. Yeah, these are all real. Uh, that one looks like the doctor from Jack Skellington. Oh my they gosh, died. it does. <laughs> but these are these are all animals with the four is a turtle. We'll show what happens when people throw their freaking plastic in the ocean. That's what happens. Look at all these bones. Honestly, I think the um, rhinoceros is my favorite. Yeah. It's <laughs> weird seeing. Yeah. <laughs> Same like animals, but only in bone form. Yeah, you're like, huh. But when you see them, you know exactly what they are just by like, oh, looking yeah. at it. <laughs> but you know, I can look at that and go, yep, that's a rhinoceros. And you're doing a direct <laughs> Oh, yeah. <gasps> it's a platypus. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're so cute. Hey, he is really cute. He's so cute. Hello. We're looking at bats. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. Oh my goodness. They're so Look how furry. Small the vampire bat is. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. It's so weird to see them, like, to see the fur on them, too. Or, like, this guy's got, like, an expression on his face. And look, there's a coyote in telling. And a California mouse. Aww. Little baby California mouse. Aww. This red no. fox is like, oh, look at the little mousey. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get you. I'm gonna get you with my little hands. These are dogs. dogs. <gasps> no. These are dogs. Whoa. Dogs should never oh, die. Oh, that was Corgi. Oh. But I wonder if they have oh, corgis. Chihuahua. That, that whole skeleton is a chihuahua. Where is the ostrich? The shit's too. Oh my goodness, look at this little underbite. That's so cute. What's the bear question? How many different species of bear are there? What type of habitats do they live in? Yeah, I wonder. Like I wonder how many species <laughs> of bears species are there. Of bears all belong to the family. I mean, okay, a variety of habitats ranging from. Did you say a variety? Animal. Ooh, we're near the turtle section, so that means that we can probably answer what's the difference between a, tur a turtle and a tortoise. Hint: It's not the size. <laughs> So what's okay, the difference so between a turtle? Oh, a, tur a turtle, a turtle is, goes in water, doesn't it? And a tortoise stays on land. <laughs> okay, we just have someone that just knows all of these facts. <laughs> <laughs> um, the killer whale Bala, the killer whale, just knows the facts just without even the, without look, even coming to a museum. Wow, that's a huge tortoise. Okay. Oh my gosh. The king cobra is so big. And the python is really big too. 
Okay, so I love this section a lot. Look how big the animals are. Yeah, just look at the look at the size of their teeth. Look at the size of those teeth. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And neck. And neck. Oh, this is so cool. And look at the elephants. Look at how big their horns are. Or tusks. Or... Yeah. Oh my goodness. Those that's are humongous tooth. skulls. That's a tooth. That's a tooth? That's one single oh tooth. Oh my gosh. So we're going to take the owl pellets and find some bones. Here's your bone sorting owl pellets. Bone. Dissect oh, the owl pellets gross. and you find a bone that looks like any of these, just put them in the right square. Can you explain what an owl pellet is? An owl pellet? Is it, it's not poop, right? No, it is pretty much owl throw up. It's just when um, owls they have like a little pouch in their neck that uh, when you eat the, when they eat mice, they store that there until uh, it gets all full and they throw it up. What bone have you found yet? That's a jaw. I can see like little teeth. I have two. Yeah, that's a jaw. Oh, it's right here. I didn't even see this one. I have two. Whoa. Your owl ate two of them. Uh, I think I found like a whole skull. I think you did too. I don't want to hurt it. Well, not hurt it. Break it. Hey, you're doing a really good job. I'm trying. Your owl was like a crunchy eater. Yeah. All your bones are like a million tiny little bones. Yes. Like he munched and crunched. This one, <laughs> this one eats like me. I just like inhale just my food. Eat it whole. I, I just inhale <laughs> my food. It was meal. I don't even bother <laughs> chewing. <laughs> well, that's what I got too, that's part of the skull I think. Wait, let's get a good look at it. Mm -hmm. I think that's a skull. Or a skull, yeah, that's a skull. See so if you flip it over, you can see its little teeth. Oh, right there. This is probably, a, yeah, this is a skull. Oh. This is a skull. I got this. It's his little, little, I see little, it. it's little, his, little yeah. teeth. I'm really trying to get this skull out without like breaking it. It's so small. Yeah. Yeah, it's delicate. Yeah, those for there. And then yeah, you got the femur the and the pelvis. And I think this one was part of, I think that, I don't know if that was the eye socket. Yeah, it, yeah, was, it was. Cause it looks like this part of the eye socket right here. Where's your skull? No, your skull looks pretty good, Lily. Oh, your skull does. Let's see your skull. Wow, you did get it really clean. Yeah. Nice. All my bones in a little bag and then I can take it home. How fun is that? Yeah, that's awesome. That was a nice little learning activity. That was fun, but back to the scavenger hunt. What'd you find, Isabel? A lizard. Oh my gosh, that's a weird Isn't lizard. Isn't there like a lizard oh, in, in question on there? Oh, there is a lizard question. What's the largest um, lizard? What's the world's largest oh, it's lizard? It would be this. The ranks of 10 feet. Wow. You were right, it is a Komodo dragon. All right, who oh, has a pencil? Feet. What time is it? Penguin time. Penguin time. Oh my goodness. Macaroni penguin. Yeah, penguin. I want to see literally the cutest animal in the world. Yes. Call me. All right. Let's all is to see the cutest animal in the world. It's not big. Those are the armadillos. Armadillos. Look at this. Look at the silky ant eater. Oh my god. Now, mom, I want to show you I've some pictures. I've never even heard of this animal. Look. Oh, it's adorable. Look at that. And then. Look at that. Look at the wow. ant. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at that! How is this an animal we've never heard of? I've heard of ant eaters, the obviously. Can kill me. But this is a silky ant eater. Oh my goodness! How oh, cute little is little. he? This is like the Florida section. So as you can see, there's wild animals. There's alligators, of course. And they're getting into all sorts of food, like that one going into the picnic basket. What is that? That bear. Wait, no. It's a bear. Bears bear eating from the picnic basket. A picnic. Pick a nick a basket. And look, a raccoon's eating some milk duds. No, it's not eating the milk duds, it's eating the moths. And it, and the milk duds. Milk raccoons duds love good. that kind of stuff. And a pelican. And now it's manatees. Oh, that's a good, this is classic Florida here. This is. Look how big the manatees are though. They are humongous. Yeah, they are really big. <gasps> a manatee baby, Oh. Creepy chickens. Oh wait, wait, what is this? A western scene? This is a cowboy scene. 
They dressed that skeleton up with a cowboy hat. <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the both of us. <laughs> oh, that's great. Wow. I like this western one. <laughs> All the chickens are so cute. They're small. Wow. <gasps> Vala. Vala. Whatever you do, don't look right here. Big head. That's that's what you look like. A crab? No, oh. not like a whale. It's, or maybe just orca. I I have big teeth and big head. That's your mother. Yeah. My mom died. <laughs> My mom died. I don't know. I don't know. It's a killer whale. And we're not all related. to the scene from the movie birds. <laughs> like Alfred or Alfred Hitchcock's birds. Yes. The horrible. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh whoa. Wow. Look at that one's beak. The toucan, oh. the beak is like colorful. Reminds you of the tiki room. In the tiki 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 room. In the tiki 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 room. All of these birds have met their doom in the tiki 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 room. Looking for the largest rodent in the world. This is this is the for part of your thing here. You can oh, the largest rodent. That one looks the largest. Yeah, good job. That one looks the largest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you read the sign, it in fact is the largest. So there's oh, an answer to you. your paper. There's there's an answer to your okay. So largest scavenger rodent. Hunt. I think it's capybara. But you guys, look at the squirrel. Hey, look, a squirrel. 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 So this last question we kind of learned from Disney. Like, do you remember when you would go no. on the safari? And no. they always point to this animal. And they said that it was one of the newest discovered species that were related to yeah. the giraffe. Yeah. So going to Disney helped us out with a scavenger hunt question. Cool, cool. Because it says, which species related to the giraffe was not known to science until 1901? And that one. Yeah. And it, I don't actually see a sign that says that anywhere. Yeah, so but I just know it from Disney. But we know. Want to look at the flesh-eating beetles? Of course I do. So this is basically how they remove all the flesh off the bones. They clean them like this. But hey, why not look at them? Oh, it's really fun. Yeah. Really fun. You can see some skulls in there and they're like... Them. Yeah, they're going to town. They're going to town. It's a circle of life, y'all. Oh, actually, we have two more. Um, we need to complete the beetle circle of life. Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> How are you going to complete the beetle circle of life? The video is dead. All of the really smart orca. killer whale, or orca, orca. Sorry. pointed out that on the corner of the TV, it's there we go. Just says it. There we go. So we can oh, fill wow. this out. Go for it. So it starts out as eggs. Eggs, eggs. What came first, the beetle or the egg? The red panda. We're looking for the red panda. Ooh, I don't think it would be over here. You don't think it would be over well, here? Well, I feel like it would be with bears or something. Shit, right here. Oh, there's the red panda. Hi, little guy. So he eats bamboo. And he's related to the raccoon. What is this guy doing? The western spotted skunk is obviously trying to, sp he's trying to spray somebody, but it looks like he's break dancing. I don't know what the story is, but that mandrill definitely gave up on life. He's like, whatever, just take me. It's just sad. I'm on my last limb. Or maybe it already is dead, who knows? Yeah. No, I think that one's alive. <laughs> yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? Really? Maybe this is alive. Who knows? They're all alive. Who knows? Yeah. Meerkat? Are you alive? Who knows? <laughs> Do you think it's alive? No. Oh. It is bone. It is Not flesh, no blood cell, no brain. No bueno. Bala the killer whale says these are all dead. Oh. 
But who knows? But who knows? <laughs> Did you know hippos kill more people each year than the, all the other animals in Africa combined? Hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> Definitely brings a darker turn on the song I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. Or does the hippopotamus want you? <laughs> <laughs> Isabel's in the toddler section. <laughs> wow, that's actually really creative. I like it, Isabel. <laughs> I need a picture of that. You are really good at building like the human closer. body. I can feel it close. <laughs> this is incredible, Isabel. <laughs> Wait a second. This is very humorous. <laughs> Okay, so we got our scavenger hunt done, mm -hmm. and now we're gonna be heading out and seeing what the prize is. So we got a cool sticker. And we got three of them. Yes, yeah. we did. Okay, so we just got out of the museum. It was really fun. But here's the things we got out of the gift shop. So there's this bone. Who owns these bones? It's a flip book, look at it. So basically it'll show you the bones, and when you flip it open, it'll tell you the animal. Cool. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty neat. Honestly, probably one of my personal favorites. Um, let's see. Fish. I love this fish. Yeah. I like his little mouth. What should we name him? I don't know. Or her. What do you want to name your fish, Isabel? What's your fish name? Um. Okay. Let's think about this. Oh, well, she's deciding the name. This is the first thing we got. I, it's a little spider. This is like the hardest decision of Isabel's life, but yes. Yeah. That spider's awesome. Um, what are you gonna name the fish? What are you gonna name your fish, Isabel? Slime Shaw. Slime Shock? No, Slime Shaw. Slime Shaw? Yeah. Okay. Okay, sure. <laughs> That's a weird name for a fish. No, I've decided it. <laughs> I had a lot of fun today, didn't you? Yeah, of course. There's so much knowledge I learned from that experience. I think you knew all the knowledge. Well, Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to see more footage like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe soon. <laughs> I had a lot of fun today too.